Welcome back to TPS. NFL stars like any great athlete in any professional sport make a ton of dough in endorsement money. As if being paid millions of dollars to play the sport you love isn't awesome enough, imagine being paid millions more to take part in short and sweet commercials that range from, say, 10 seconds to 2 minutes. Some guys like Peyton Manning hit home runs in every commercial they start in. But let's just say that other NFL stars might wish we never saw their awkward performances in these unforgettable television ads. So let's dive into these 11 horribly awkward performances by NFL players in TV commercials. At TPS, we post videos every single day. So don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe. Then click the notification bell to be notified when we post a new video. Number 11 NFL stars in Diet Coke. Ah, oh, yes. Nothing like grouping together a bunch of NFL stars to rap about how much they love Diet Coke rather than simply explain how awkward this is. Just sit back and watch. You might even love how cheesy this whole thing is. I reach for it first. I can drink a lot. Boom. It's playing altitude. It moves, moves. So look out, Pepsi. The move. Boomer Sison, Lewis Lips. Eric Dickerson, you had all these NFL stars singing along. So awkward, but we love it at the same time. Number 10, OJ Simpson in Hertz Rent-A-Car. Before and after his playing career, Hall of Fame running back O.J. Simpson took up acting in both film and television. And of course, the juice landed himself a large quantity of endorsement and TV commercials. Simpson was never that great of an actor. Even if you liked him in The Naked Gun, you can't deny that the movie series would have been fine without him. But even his eh, okay performance in The Naked Gun was nowhere close to being as strange as his 1978 Hertz rent-a-car ad. Body does it better than Hertz. Number 9. Jason Witten and Albertsons Dallas Cowboys legend and future Hall of Fame tight end Jason Witten has played a decade and a half of pro football. The man is also listed at 6 foot 6 and 263 pounds. With that hulking frame and that much mileage on his body, Witten knows the importance of eating up and fueling his body with lots of protein. Witten started a commercial for Albertsons as they endorsed their tremendous USDA choice beef and steak products. Here, Witten shows up for a few short moments to take a bite of one of Albertson's steaks. And, uh, you know, it's just a bit awkward. Me, you wouldn't want to get in his way. Now that's choice. And it's only choice beef. They didn't really need him to come up from behind all sneaky like that. Anyways, Albertson's must have been pleased with his performance because Witten's teammate Dak Prescott also got to star in a state commercial himself. Number 8, Marshawn Lynch in Beacon Plumbing. Beast Mode was a five-time pro bowler in his career, winning Super Bowl 48 with the Seattle Seahawks. Lynch became popular for his obsession with Skittles and his giant personality. It's no wonder Lynch earned himself a handful of endorsement deals. Who wouldn't want a guy who loves Skittles at the front and center of an advertisement? Beacon Plumbing in Seattle was able to recruit Beast Mode for one of their commercials in 2013. It's a very interesting company and commercial for any NFL star to take part in, and even a big character and personality like Lynch wasn't able to save this commercial from world-class awkwardness. In this commercial, Lynch shows up to the home of a young family and takes it upon himself to carry the toilet out of their household. What a nice guy. Marshawn Lynch, stop freaking. Carl, be here. What's next? I think we're going to have to take the whole toilet out. Got it. What's next? A few years later, Seattle Pro Bowl linebacker and Lynch's former teammate, Bobby Wagner, took part in a television ad for Beacon Plumbing. When does Russell Wilson get his turn? Number 7. Jonathan Ogden in Gepco One of the most dominant offensive linemen of all time, Baltimore Ravens' great Jonathan Ogden was instrumental in helping the team win Super Bowl 35. Ogden was also an 11-time Pro Bowler, 4-time First Team All-Pro, and named to the 2000s All-Decade Team. Ogden was also inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2013. Indeed, he's an icon in Baltimore. Now, there wasn't a whole lot to dislike about Ogden's play, and his colorful personality helped him land numerous commercial acting gigs. However, we'd rather look away from his performance for Gepco because it was just about a tad bit, you know, awkward. Gepco, huh? Number six, Jason Campbell and Eastern Motors. He bounced around the league a lot, but Jason Campbell enjoyed some success during his NFL career led the Washington Nationals to a playoff berth in 2007, and he played well for the Oakland Raiders in 2010 and 11 before unfortunately suffering a season-ending collarbone injury in the latter year. Campbell only took part in a handful of television commercials in his career, but on the bright side, his Eastern Motors ad was nothing short of memorable, but probably not for the right reasons. 
So what do you suggest? What is the answer? The answer is you can't go wrong with buying a, In a car today. Let Eastern Motor. Number five, Jake Delholm in Peddling Biscuits. Jake was a career journeyman throughout his NFL career, but he's a living legend in Carolina. Delholm led the Panthers to a Super Bowl 38 appearance, their first ever berth in the big game. The Panthers became a lovable underdog and narrowly fell to the New England Patriots in a thrilling contest. And of course, Delholm was named to the Pro Bowl in 2005 as he led the Panthers to another NFC Championship game appearance. On top of that, Delholm led Carolina to an NFC South title in 2008. The Bojangles' famous chicken and biscuits chain was founded in Charlotte. The headquarters are there too. With Delholm being a top base in Carolina sports at the time, he landed himself some commercial gigs with Bojangles. But the peddling biscuit one was a little too awkward for our liking. We're not made from scratch biscuits. Stir the fresh biscuit. Ooh. Oh, you You might say Del Holmes' attempt at acting was picked off here, but some of his other Bojangles commercials were far more successful, including the Dukes of Hazard one, alongside teammate Steve Smith. Number four, Wes Welker and Bob's Discount Furniture. What a story Wes Welker was. From undrafted product to special teams performer to a five-time Pro Bowler for the New England Patriots, Welker revolutionized the slot position and was instrumental in helping the Patriots reach Super Bowls 42 and 46. Without Welker, there's no way the Patriots get close to the perfect season in 2007. Welker, who led the NFL in receptions three times, was also known for his colorful and humble personality. Welker starred in numerous commercials during his playing career, including Old Spice as a member of both the Patriots and the Denver Broncos. The Old Spice commercials were straight up awesome, but we can't say the same about the Bob's Discount Furniture app that Welker starred in. i find out which one of these is better. Well, look at the price tag, the Simmons Beauty. <laughs> now that's the way to really score. No, he did another one with teammate Kevin Falk. Or Bob with Bob Opedic. How's it feel, guys? Great. Amazing. What do you yeah, not Welker's best performance. Number three, Eli Manning and Odell Beckham Jr. Super Bowl commercial. Nobody needs to be reminded that Super Bowl season brings out the best commercials in the world, period. Plain and simple. Heck, we all know a bunch of non-football fans who watch the Super Bowl just for the commercials. Well, those who tuned in for Super Bowl 53 between the New England Patriots and the Philadelphia Eagles were in for quite a treat. New York Giants quarterback Eli Manning and Pro Bowl wideout Odell Beckham Jr. did their own version of Dirty Dancing for this epic commercial. And yes, we do say epic, but we were also a little weirded out by it. Given how much both the Patriots and Eagles hate the Giants, it made this commercial even more hilarious and memorable. Number two, Joe Flacco and Pizza Hut. Veteran quarterback Joe Flacco isn't exactly an Aaron Rodgers or Peyton Manning. That is, he's not exactly known for being the center of many hilarious and memorable commercials. Flacco has the more laid back and relaxed personality because he's a quiet fellow. Super Bowl 47 champion and MVP isn't somebody you'd expect to star in a commercial. Well, sure enough, Pizza Hut had Flacco star in one of their 2010 commercials. This was a short, awkward, and not too sweet performance. Flacco uttered a few sentences and made a weird Hut Hut reference. Let me tell you about my favorite pizza, my way. 10 bucks, any pizza. Hut Hut, Pizza Hut. Flacco's favorite. Unsurprisingly, Flacco didn't star in many other NFL advertisements after that, but blame Pizza Hut for giving him a very brief and extremely awkward script. Number one, Ryan Kerrigan is the son. Nothing says it's time to buy new windows like hiring two NFL players to act as the son or something along those lines. Washington Redskins Pro Bowl linebacker Ryan Kerrigan and former Baltimore Ravens star Haloti Nata took part in commercials for the Thompson Creek Windows Company. As you can see here, Kerrigan dresses up as the son, walks towards the window of a couple's home, and begins to scare them. Somehow, a kind-hearted NFL player in a cheesy son costume led to both the man and woman screaming in terror. <laughs> Kerrigan closes it out by saying that the windows are built for our unique climate in order to keep your pressure air conditioning in and the summer heat out. Melody's was the exact same, except he wasn't so awkward in it. We actually liked how he embraced himself as a son. Debate among yourselves who the better player is, but I think it's obvious who owns the edge when it comes to acting as the son. Other awkward commercials starring NFL players should we have included on our list? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.